guys, we are coming to you from New Jersey. We're actually at the Liberty State Park and we stumbled across something we didn't know was here and it is a memorial to 9-11 on um, the Jersey side. And there's actually a tour bus group that is leaving so I'm gonna walk over there as they're walking away and give you a close-up of what that looks like and then we have a little ferry over here you can see the city skyline but here's a piece of metal from the towers up close look at that it's just insane how incredibly strong this was and then here are um, here is the rest of the memorial here empty sky September 11th memorial and it's got names all down the inside engraved Let this memorial reflect the legacies of those whose lives were lost that then fulfilled their dreams and hopes may result in a better future for society. Their unique qualities and characteristics enriched our lives immeasurably and through this memorial, their, their stories shall live on. And it's lit up at night so you can still read the names. But that's so pretty. The sun is so bright <laughs> reflecting in here right now, so I apologize if it uh, comes off really uh, difficult to see. Um, it is quite busy here. We didn't realize planning a trip, it was spring break, so <laughs> we're dealing with quite a bit of people at the moment. So, this is a really long but a very nice memorial, and looking at it from the end, it did look like the towers. Thought that was a nice design for it. Are you freezing? <laughs> and then you said this was the Hudson. That's insane. Look at that gorgeous city over there. How gorgeous. And that's one World Trade Center right there. I'm in love, you guys. I am in love. And there is our beautiful Statue of Liberty. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Everything is absolutely gorgeous here. That's it. When I win the lottery, we're buying a house in Beaufort and in New York. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're not actually going over on a ferry to see the Statue of Liberty today. I don't know if we're gonna fit it into this trip or not, but we did get as close as we possibly could without going onto the ferry. And here she is, guys. Look how gorgeous. I will flip this around in a minute and zoom in so you can get a closer look. But we are on the back side of her, but you can see her holding the tablet and the torch. Day is made, guys. Day is made. We still have so much more to do. We're going to Carlos Bakery, the one that was on television. So we're going to Hoboken right after we leave here. But this is so beautiful. I mean, 
old news to all of the world who's traveled everywhere and came here before we have always been disney travelers and that was our only vacation and we've decided to step out of the disney bubble and start doing other things and this was the highest tippy top on my must do travel list or my bucket list i don't really like saying that but this is definitely uh the cream of the crop for me so many more adventures to be had and um, i am loving being here damon is a huge history buff He's like living his best life right now. Um, he was so super giddy just a little while ago that we're this close um, traveling and the driving gave him so much anxiety, but he is so happy to be here now, now that he's like seeing the statue in person. So it's just so wonderful. So, so wonderful to be here. What do you see? You hurry for the time runs out. Oh, wow. I put a border because I had that one that fell out of my pocket. She's a beaut. Let's see. She's a beaut, Corn. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through, but I'm trying to show you guys. Can't see her. No. Go back on it, D. Man, you can see the torch is gold. Go. It's still time. That's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little quick sneak peek of part of our NYC trip. We hope to go back very, very soon and hopefully then we'll be able to bring you guys more vlogs. But stay tuned for more NYC lookbooks.